Hey guys, what's going on? I just Rengar here and welcome back to another video. Really quickly before the video starts, and I'll leave an option to skip this if you want to, um, my school, I'm actually a senior, is having a project graduation raffle for a 1999 Ford Mustang with 140,000 miles. If you'd like to enter, the raffle tickets are $5 a piece and they are actually, if you want to buy three, it's $10. So message me at my email, which is going to be listed below, or message me on Discord if you'd be interested in that. Um, I can take payments through PayPal uh, if that would be of interest to you guys. Um, anyways, guys, that's basically what it is. Uh, please only say that you will do this if you are on the East Coast, because otherwise I'm we're probably not going to be able to get the car to you. Uh, I actually live in Maine. Uh, but anyways... Uh, another quick note, if you do live on the East Coast and you're within like a 10 hour drive of where we are and you somehow win the car, I will personally drive the car to where you are, I will give you a firm handshake, and I will also probably give you a hug and smile like really, really widely and you'll know what I look like. So anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video that is to come and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey guys, what's going on? I just run your here, and today I am actually coming at you with a coaching video. Today I'm going to be coaching. How do I pronounce that? Yakubo. 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 Yeah. Okay, sweet. So uh, today we're going to be playing, or he's going to be playing some Rengar Jungle, and I'm going to be showing you guys this game and kind of going over it with what I'm thinking. So to start off, what are you thinking as soon as you get into this game? Um, I'm thinking of who can I gank the easiest. Yeah. So it was kind of like an AP Shabana mid for this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's super so weird. <laughs> I'm thinking I have a Malzahar mid, so I'm just gonna camp the shit out of it once I hit, once he hits six and I hit six. Yeah, and that's basically what I did. Yeah, and that's always gonna be a good idea with like Malzahar against pretty much any lane because Malzahar at level six literally just presses R and it's free kills. Um, yeah. <laughs> so whenever you see like that Malzahar, just know that once he hits six, it'll be like the easiest gank in the world. Um, so you're doing a little bit of a weird start here. Are you going to invade his blue? Is that what your idea is? You're going to take this and this and invade? So, or... honestly, I don't really invade too much on Rengar, and I probably should. But uh -huh. I, don't, I just start red because it makes my clear a lot more healthier. Yeah. So I just start red, uh, raptors, wolves, blue. I clear the bot side, um, what should I call it, the bot side crab, and then... After that, I think I just looked for ganks. I don't remember exactly what I did here. Okay. Um, now, the reason that I don't really like this clear as much is because... Okay, so for when you had to smite it to get that healthier clear, um, I think personally that... Oh, that was unlucky. You yeah, just clicked a little yeah. bit there. Um, I think personally that it's healthier to always start bot side. Like, I know that you get red buff this way, but the reason why is because when you start bot side, you get the leash of both of these guys. Um... It might seem like you're getting the better deal, but that's because the red buff, for one, has 300 less HP. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit easier for you to kill. Um, and for two, you also use your smite. Whereas if you start over here, you get the leash on the harder monster. Um, and with that, you're able to go from here to here to here to here. And I don't know, have you seen my video on conserving ferocity? Uh, yeah. Okay, so if you can conserve ferocity from camp to camp, that would be another big thing that you can do um, <clears throat> to help improve your clearing. Uh, and that would definitely make it so you have those healthier clears. Because typically I'll finish a full clear um, of every single camp, and I'll have around uh, full HP, and I'll be doing fairly well for myself. Um, I should oh, yeah, be able to hop here. here. Okay, so you W'd a little early there um, when you weren't going to be able to get four ferocity off of it. Um, right there. Oh, she has barrier. Okay, I was gonna say, maybe you could turn around and do something there, but... Oh, wow, he just... He goes down. So, right there, I feel like you... So, the missing of the bola, I think, kind of hurt you there. Um, so here, if you go back to this... A couple things happen. So, here's the, the first mistake. The first mistake is you run, you come out like this, and then you run down. Now, that's wrong because... Now, if she she runs like she ends up running like that, you have to con uh, compensate by running this extra distance. You see, like how you're like you're running like this right angle right here, mm -hmm. like and then you're you're basically losing whatever uh, this angle. And you could do like all the trigonometry and math for that, but I'm way too lazy to do that. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I will. But 
I figured that that'd be pr probably pretty boring. So basically you're losing a bunch of your speed because you're doing it at an angle. Whereas if you just run straight forward, unless she runs over like up this way, then she's not going to be able to escape anyway. So if you run like this, there's no way that she's going to be able to escape um, without running into you. But since you waste a little bit of time, it makes it so it's just like a little bit unlucky. Uh, so if you watch right here though, it, when you walk forward, so right now you're not wasting any time, which is good. But you'd be you'd be a pace forward. So that actually probably would have hit because did you see how minuscule the distance was? Yeah. So that most definitely would have hit if you just and that's just a really really minor thing, but it's things that matter. Um, another thing is you could have also just held off on your E, waited until you jumped here, and then done a full combo landing, um, which I believe probably would have done enough damage to uh, to take her out. Uh, because you would have actually been able to proc the um, the electric shoot. Unless she used barrier in time, but a lot of people are unexpected of Rengar's damage. Um, especially, like, I see that a lot whenever I'm spectating games that are in, like, silver elo, uh, gold elo, and even sometimes, like, low plat. Um, you'll see people, and obviously bronze, uh, you'll see people just misunderstanding Rengar's amount of damage. So right here, this is really, like, suboptimal, because... Okay, that was that was decent. Okay, it, it was good that you were able to like kind of bait out that much. But in this situation, you know that you're so low that you could just die pretty much instantly, and you don't have a stopwatch. So right here, you basically just need to back. Um, right. And again, part of this is also that like, um, like right now, if you still had your red buff up, you would still be getting that passive healing, and you probably could stay. Um, but it's just you need to make sure that you're getting getting that CS. You did get two flashes, but you used your own flash and you died. So it's basically like trading a kill for a flash, which right. isn't like as worth it as it could be. Um, like it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not the best thing in the world. It looks like this guy's probably going to die top pretty soon as well. So right now yeah. you're going to... It looks like you're heading towards top lane, which is good. Uh, you have kind of like this sense that, okay, this Singe is most likely going to die here. So if you can be around, that would be a really, really good idea. Um, so right now... <laughs> oh, that feels bad. <laughs> Pull me your own kill. It, the funny thing is, if he ran out of that, I think that he would have probably lived. So we'll just watch it in slow mo really quick. Wait, hit the wrong key. Okay. So here, you W right away. That's an issue. You never want to W right away. You want to wait until he deals a little bit of damage to you, um, because you did get a little bit low, and that's the reason why. So here, uh, that E is totally excusable. Um, as far as Yasuo tornadoes go, uh, flashing them is really hard because they're so fast. Um, but it can be done next time just try to like i mean that that's one that honestly i don't even think that that was like flashable i don't like that that would be super super hard for you to flash unless you like waited like perfectly um but it is one that you can dodge because you're moving on this linear pattern he just flashed to here the most like if somebody flashes somewhere the most likely move just to drag their cursor like instantly back and just uh use the skill shot in the exact opposite direction because that's just like kind of like human nature it's the easiest thing to do so if somebody flashes down this way the odds are they're going to just cast the ability straight forward unless like straight at you um which in this case was a complete 180 so that's like what he's most likely to do so if you just sidestep to the side just a little bit um it's just a lot easier um or it's a lot uh, better of a juke. Like, it's a possibility that you juke. And then from there, you might not even have to flash. Um, and if you do, then you'll do it and you won't get hit. But don't waste your W like that, because that was uh, a little bit of an issue that you don't want to don't wanna mess up on. I usually use my W for damage, and then... But looking back at it, it just doesn't do enough damage to even bother with it. Yeah, like well, honestly, you should use your W for damage if you can get a full combo off. But unless you can get a full combo off, you need it for the brawling ability because Rengar is not a, a brawler sustained fighter. So you you need to abuse your W in order to win brawls slash sustained fights. So versus people like Yasuo, you need to use your W efficiently unless you can burst him before that by using your W. Um, and in a situation where you don't have the bush nearby, you can't use your W for a combo. Unless you ulti, which since you didn't have your ulti up, you're not going to be comboing him, so you don't want to use uh, your W unless it's for the fight. Um, okay, so you see her. Oh my here. gosh. Oh no, I actually don't die here. I think I actually triple killed him here. Yeah, that makes sense actually. <laughs> You didn't even need to run away to be honest, but either way, you're still going to kill him I think. 
Okay, let's go. Okay, so sweet. Um, you missed one of the instances of your Q, so definitely practice more um, with your Q, like hitting it. Um, you can try that with uh, bots on the training tool. Put like five bots against yourself and literally just practice landing your Q. You don't have to buy items. Um, put on like infinite health regen, uh, inv invincibility, all that stuff, and just like practice hitting your Q on them with your ulti. You can use all cooldowns on, stuff like that. Um, it's obviously not going to be as effective as going against real people, but it builds that memorization. Do you play uh, CSGO at all? Uh, I used to. Okay. Got too pissed so, off about it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> did you ever play any of those, like, uh, plate games where you would basically just, like, aim at the plate and shoot? Stuff like that? Um, no. Okay, well, there used to be a game that I played when I played CSGO, because I'm all into, like, hyper-improving any game, where they had, like, a bunch of different plates... Like, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And then they would have ones that, like, rotate like this. Like, they'd move on to here, they'd move on to here. And then they'd uh, eventually go back in the other direction, right? So, what I would do is I would just play that constantly over and over and over and over again. Um, until I, like, got good enough to hit all of them over and over and over. And my aim improved a lot because I built that mu mu uh, muscle memory. And that's what you need to do with the Q. It's the same as being able to flick shot from here to 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 here as fast as possible. It's the same exact concept except with League and using your Q. So although it might not be like the same idea, I mean, it's the same idea, although it's not the same exact construct. So the construct here is that you have to be able to do the Q versus uh, shooting. And it's more straightforward to shoot, but... Like, doing this for Rengar would only be if you're, like, dedicated to the champion, you really want to get better at him. But you can also apply this to using other skill shots as well. And that's something that I would do if I was having trouble, um, and wanted to, like, really improve at it fast. The alternative is just to play a bunch of games, but, I mean, honestly, the queue is getting changed soon anyway, so it's like, you probably don't need to do that. I heard they're pushing back on PvE. Yeah, they are a little bit. Um, so it might not be for a little while longer, but I think 8.4 is still the um, suggested ship date. So whether it comes then or not, I don't know. So do you guys need to comment about that? But <laughs> I don't know when it's going to ship, but it should be around 8.4, I believe. Okay, so the issue right there. So if you had flash, you could have pro possibly flashed over the wall and survived. You could have done a bunch of different things, but you used your flash earlier on Shivana. Um Honestly, probably what I would have done is if I was in that situation, what do you have? When I saw them here, I probably would have just backed out at that point. Because um, Alistar has a combo that's going to CC you. If earlier you had done the thing where you save your ferocity and walked into this bush and then just empowered Q her, she would have died. Um, pretty much 100%. Because if you go back really quick and just look, um, your empowered Q deals basically 400 damage twice. So it deals 800 damage. And you have 40 lethality plus... Or 36 lethality plus 10 from... Your sudden impact. So right now she has 68 armor, 760 HP. So if you went into this bush, if you Q and auto attack her, there's no way she survives. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So if all you need to do is run it there, because you weren't even stunned either when when she hit you. And if she did somehow like charm you or something like that, Alistar has no abilities left. So all you do is you W and then you just fight it out. But instead you run back and then you end up dying just because it's like kind of unlucky like it's uh you waited too long well, i was in a like, call oh, with the malzahar oh okay. so yeah we were kind of i was kind of like well i'm gonna die for this but you'll get a kill yeah so that was my whole thinking on this but now that i look back on it i probably should have just played it safer instead of throwing away my lead like that. yeah exactly and giving them shutdown gold. yeah on the on the bright side she had shut down gold too so it evens out and it's okay um, but it obviously would have been better, like you said, if you just didn't, if you didn't die there. And if you had flash, it would have been possible to survive there as well. Um, so that's, like, just one thing to note. Um, this Shimana's actually <laughs> has the second best CS in the game. Yeah. Which is super weird to say going up against the Singed. Although, you have the second best CS on your team, which is actually really, really good. Um, actually third best CS in the game she has. My bad. Um, Caitlyn's actually popping I try off. To, I try to keep in mind... To clear very efficiently. Yeah. But then I gotta get confused with clearing, ganking, clearing, ganking. I don't really know when's a good time to farm, when's a good time to gank. Well, there used to be this actually, this really good spreadsheet for Rengar, and you can actually still use it if you want. So basically, it's, um, so it's like, uh, like, how did it go? 
Oh, it was... Alt up. If the answer is yes... Gank. If the answer is no... Farm. That's what I keep trying to do. When my ult's not up, I know Rangar, he, he needs his ult to gank. I mean, sometimes you don't, but most of the time you need your ult to gank. Yeah. So... I usually just farm when I don't have it. Yeah, and that's what you should be doing. Although there's uh, a couple like other things you can add to this to make it more, more complex. Um, one of them is, instead of just farming, you can also uh, uh, counter gank. I'm just going to put CG here, so you can counter gank. And you can also counter jungle, so CJ. That kind of goes under farming. Um, but let's say you're up here right now, and it's five minutes into the game. Or let's say it's six minutes uh, fifty into the game, and Evelyn's bot, you're right here. Then you can go take these, um, mm -hmm. knowing that it's not going to be contested. And that's sometimes like what you have to do. Oh, I'm just going to do that. It would take forever to erase that. Um, oh shoot. Okay, um, but that's just like an example of probably what you should be doing. So if your ulti is up, you definitely want to be ganking, unless there's like no lanes to gank. But honestly, with your ulti up, there should be no lane that you can't gank. Um, and right there, that was a waste of your ult. That was a, a yeah, blink waste of your ult. Yeah, I played horribly there. So, I missed all my Qs, everything. Yeah, but the real issue is that you used your ulti here. Um, like, okay, maybe maybe it wasn't that bad. Okay, so she she ended up running into you. Okay, never mind. All right, that's not as bad as I thought. So, but yeah, again, the same exact thing as before. E in the direction that they're going. Right now, if you had E in the direction she, she was going, she would have been slowed. It would have been harder for her to follow. Um... Maybe you would have been able to hop to her. But all these different things you don't know because you didn't E in the direction that she was going. So that's just one thing. I'm not going to like harp on you for like too long about that because you obviously know by now that that's one of the main things. So if you like are writing it down, write that down. Be like, okay, I need to start e in the direction they're going, queuing in the direction they're going. Um, also, playing around the strength of my team would be another thing that you could say. Because right now, playing around Caitlyn is going to be a huge deal for you. And something you should definitely be trying to do. So, you see that he's top. You also see that he's super fed. Um, so, this could be an, an issue for you if you die. Um, which you very well could if you don't play it right. Okay, never mind. He's gonna he's gonna die. So, he basically walked up to the bush and he was like... Oh, shoot. Okay. So, he walked up to the bush. He's like, hey, Rengar, man. Do you, do you want a free kill? And you're like, yeah, you know what? I'll take it, dude. Um, thanks, dude. <laughs> so, you pop onto him. You have your your uh, red buff, and then you cue that. So, heading to the jungle here, your golems are gone, your red is gone, your chickens are gone, and your half HP with 1k gold. Right now, you could finish off your last disparate if you go back. So, I'm trying to figure out why you're not backing here, because right now, backing, I feel like, would be probably pretty ideal. Um... But instead, you walk down here. I mean, maybe you're going down here to farm these, which I can understand. But you have enough gold right now to go back and buy the item that you need. So it's more ideal to just head back, especially since you're half HP. But since you run right. down there, then you end up getting killed. And what you could have done and what you should have done is if you look back right here. I mean, obviously, uh, like backing. But if you look back right here, you see this, this is revealing you. So you know you're revealed. As soon as that happens... Oh, never mind. Your flash is actually down. Okay, never mind. I thought that your flash was up. I was going to say, as soon as it happens, just flash over there. But as soon as that happens, since you actually did have three ferocity, you could have queued this way and then empowered W'd or empowered E downward, knowing that she was probably down there somewhere. Um, so there were two ways that you could have gotten out of that. Um, one by like just queuing and then empowered W, the other queuing and empowered e and then trying to hit the E. Um, and I honestly think that if you used either of those, you would have most likely lived. Um, the E would have been more successful if you had hit it, because then Alistar would have had to have gotten hit by the turret, disabling his mobies. Um, but right there, you just needed to look at your Duskblade more and be like, oh gosh. And then, if you don't look at your Duskblade more, then look at the uh, charm at least, and know you instantly need to run under turret. Um, and that would be something that you could like look out for and like think about. Um, but anyways, going back to you now, it looks like... You... Okay, so you went for a phage. So, yeah, you would have had enough money to buy a phage anyways. Um, this is okay. Yeah, you're going for the Black Cleaver. Now, let me ask you this. Why are you building what you're building? Honestly, after I get Yomus and Dustblade, I just... I don't even know what to build. 
I <laughs> this game it's sad, but I, <laughs> yeah. I just I don't even know what to build at that point. So I kind of just build whatever I think I need. I know Alistar is going to get tanky. He's going to get some armor. So I'm thinking, all right, let's get some armor pen. I'm trying to get health so Yasuo doesn't just instantly one shot me. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess I get a black cleaver. Okay, so but after that, I just I didn't even know what to do. So for this game. Yasuo, his Q counts as an auto attack, so you should have went tab eyes because he's he's the most fed member of the enemy team, and he's going to be really really strong throughout the game. Um, so you want to go tabbies against him. Um, I love how I go between tab eyes and tabbies like instantly, like in like a heartbeat. Uh, anyways, last whisper is horrible here. Do you know why? No armor at all. Exactly. Last whisper works off of bonus armor. So wait, I'm on page. La so. 35% bonus armor penetration. How much bonus armor does this guy have? Zero. Her? Zero. Her? Zero. Her? Him? Zero. Him? Nothing. He has a little bit. But that's only 40 armor. A little bit. 40 armor. But is Alistar going to be the person that you're trying to kill? No. Nah. Exactly. You're never going to want to try to be like, Oh my god, let me one-shot Alistar. Guys, I gotta one-shot Alistar. You're not going to be like saying stuff like that. What you're going to be saying is... Oh my gosh, I gotta kill this Yasuo. He's actually 1v9ing top lane, killing Singe 11 times in a row. Um, what are we gonna do? That's what you're gonna be saying. And in those situations, you're gonna need tab eyes, and you're gonna need... Um, what I would do is an Edge of Night. And the reason why is because Lethality is more effective against people that don't have armor. Do you know why? Because they don't have... It's just straight up penetration. Exactly. So, like, let's say somebody has 100 armor versus has uh, 50 armor, okay? So, if somebody has 50 armor, uh, they're being... They're reducing uh, damage that's taken to them by... What is it? I think it's, like, 33 or 35%. So, 35%. If they have 100 armor, they're reducing damage by 50%. So, see how... From 0 to 50, it was 35. From 50 to 100, it was 15. So mm -hmm. that's because there's diminishing returns on armor. So that means the lower the armor goes... Like, if, if you go from 100 to 50 armor, which is what, like, saying... Say you have uh, Edge of Night, Yomus, and Duskblade. That would mean that they have 50 armor from 100. So they'd still be blocking 35% damage, right? So if you take off the 54... The 54 lethality, that means that they're going to have 40, 46 armor, which is basically going to give them 33% um, armor, right? But mm -hmm. if you take away 54 from this, that's going to give them negative 4 armor, which is going to make it so they take an increased uh, 3 or 4% damage. So they're going to take extra damage bonus damage because they're so low on armor so if nobody's right. building armor on the enemy team it's so beneficial to build this and then you can actually build a black cleaver afterwards for health and cdr um and on top of the fact that edge of night's gonna give you a bunch of cdr anyways um there a bunch of health uh, and lethality and armor anyways uh not armor uh what am i saying ad so basically what you want to do is just realize that armor gives diminishing returns, and minimizing the enemy's armor is going to be the key to dealing the most damage. And that's why Rengar one-shots are so prevalent. And people will be like, oh my gosh, Rengar just one-shotted me from 0 HP to 1 million. So, but this guy right now, he has 70 armor. When you jump in on him, look at how much damage you deal. Now, imagine if instead of having Last Whisper, which gives you 10 AD, you had a... And keep in mind, this is... Uh, a cheaper item, you had a Serrated Dirk that gave you 12 Lethality and 25 AD. He most would definitely would have died right there. Um, and that's because the more Lethality you have, the better it is. Um, and then that, that's also, that goes back to like what we saw before, where somebody has like, because at, at that point he would have 70 armor, He you take him, you take out uh, 30, 46, so he has like he has 26 armor. You take away 12 more. That means that he's only going to have... Uh, one second, I'm bad at math. 14 armor. So, 14 armor is a lot less than 26 armor because, like, the diminishing returns. And then, obviously, if you could minimize that even further, <clears throat> Black Cleaver, um, then that would be good. So, I agree with the Black Cleaver pickup, uh, but I think you should have went Edge of Night first. Um, okay. And Black Cleaver is going to always be good against those people that... Um, like, if they build one armor item... Black Cleaver is going to be more efficient than building tab eyes, or than building a um, 
Like, if they build Tabis, Black Cleaver is going to be more efficient than Last Whisper. Um, because in that instance, B Black Cleaver is going to be um, reducing armor over all of their armor, whereas Les Last Whisper will only reduce about 11 armor um, from their Tabis. However, if somebody builds, like, let's say they have a mid laner that's going AP and she built tab eyes and seeker's arm guard to go into his zonias then last whisper would be more worth it because with a fully completed zonias and tabbies it's 75 armor um with the 35 percent that's basically giving you 22 lethality on that person and if they're your priority target then perfect but in this game your priority target's going to be evelyn it's going to be yasuo and neither of them have armor then secondary targets don't have armor either so in this instance you want to just go full lethality and that's kind of like the lethality explanation why Baron? Oh. Their most fed player is down. Their only tank that they have in this entire game is dead. Right now is the ideal time to Baron. Yes, they have a jungler, but she has no armor whatsoever. And you have Malzahar with a silence, you have Brand with a stun, you have Kaelin with her traps, and you have Singe. Who... Okay, let's just face Singe is toxic, dude. He presses E on her and she's like all the way, like she gets flipped back to Vietnam. She's, like, out of there. Oh, yeah. she, she doesn't do it. We do, actually do do Baron here. She doesn't do it. Yeah, exactly. The issue is... Look at Yasuo's death timer. We could have done a sooner. Yeah, it's look one what he has. he has TP. So, if, I, if this Yasuo was any smart, he would instantly just teleport to, like, right here as soon as he spawns. Or right... Oh, or right there, actually. I didn't really... Just right in the middle of us. And... It's a really good thing that you have flash up, because... Oh my gosh, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Dude, I was so worried for you for a second. I got saved oh so hard. Oh my by gosh. Trap. That's what I said about Caitlyn Traps being like OP, dude. Sleeper OP Caitlyn Traps. Look at this guy. Look, he's like, where's where Rengar go? What's happening? Where, where'd he go? Um, good thing here, the wave is pushed up, so we can't push this alone. Um, for one, Yasuo's crit, so he's not going to deal much damage to the turret. He's obviously still going to deal damage because he still has a lot of attack speed and a lot of AD. Um, and he's still Yasuo. And he's still Yasuo, so he's obviously a br 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 broken champion. But um, Yasuo doesn't have the Alistar to tank it for him, so he can't really do too much there, um, which is pretty good for us. Oh, I, that still feels bad. I know that feel. When you, like, see it and then you E and then it's not there and you're like, well... Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, it, it, it's so sad. It feels bad, man. Okay, so you see him. You ulti. And he starts running over. And at this point, you're like, oh god, I gotta get out of dodge. Yeah, as soon as I saw the Alistar, I was just like, yep, nope, I'm yeah. out. And I would do this exact same thing where you just run over and you try to see if you can get anything else. You see, why are you running that way, Shivana? <laughs> <laughs> Shivana, you could have ran like this, but no. Alright, so right now what you need to do is you need to buff the minions, you need to all push mid together, while Singed stops Yasuo. If Singed can just stop Yasuo, you guys can actually, like, win this game. Um, but the problem is, if Singed doesn't stop Yasuo, you guys lose the game. Um, just because Yasuo is such a huge threat. But right now you need to be buffing these minions constantly, keeping them buffed up and strong. Um, but see what I mean about him taking a long time to take a turret? You can take a turret way faster than Yasuo. He only has 272 AD. Um, yes, he has a really high attack speed, but you have 478 AD. So you are like, watch this turret. Look, you hit it like a truck. You're like a, like a truck. Like an 18 wheeler. And Yasuo's like a, he's like a, like a little sedan. He, he's, Yasuo's chilling over there in his Prius. He's like, come on, man, dude, I shouldn't have gotten this fuel efficient Prius. I should have went for a Mustang instead. And you're like, heck yeah, you should have. Um, but unlucky, he, uh, he didn't do that. Okay, so right here, all right. Looks like he. Oh, okay, that was a little, little early, a little preemptive. Does he have R though? Oh no, he doesn't have R yet. Oh, that super feels bad. Wait. Oh, did he not have ulti? Mm, I don't. I don't actually know. He had ulti. I don't know what that guy's doing, but because that would have given him another 510 HP shield, which busted. I know. Um, huh. That's actually so weird by him. He could have just ultied right there and survived. But, I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain. It, uh, it leaves you alive, so <laughs> that's always pretty nice. Um, yeah, we got the kill. Yeah, that's too. true. Um, so you did pretty well this game. 14, 7, and 4 it should be over pretty soon. Um, it's yeah, near so the end of the game timer, so I'm going to just speed through this really quick. But, yeah, um, so basically the main things that we 
needed to cover and the main things that we did cover is you need to definitely work on your mechanics um your game knowledge seemed like okay this game for where you were ganking stuff like that there were a couple times where you'd kind of skip out on certain things like killing the gromp camp you'd kind of just ignore it and kind of forget about it gromp gives the most xp of any camp that's not a buff um so like it gives more than wolves chickens and golems golems give you the most gold gromp gives you the most xp um and they're again all on a two minute 30 timer except for rift hair or rift scuttlers and buffs buffs five minutes rift scuttlers three minutes um and that's just kind of important to know for if you're counter jungling uh but right here you clearly outmatched the Evelyn in CS, you were 50 CS up. Um, I would say that you could have been up way more CS. You were doing a lot better earlier on, uh, and then later on you kind of fell off as far as farming goes. And that's why you have... Uh, that's why Yasuo was level 18 at, I think, 27 minutes, and you're level 17 at 31 minutes. Because um, right. he's CSing more. And that's because he's also picking up a lot of side lanes, but you could be doing the same thing hard farming. Um, your jungle and like trying to mix that in with ganks and as you get better you'll mix in with your ganks a lot more um like farming and mixing in with ganks and a lot of that's again uh, efficiently clearing and learning to just not waste time and a couple times you did waste time where it was just kind of like you were like i said earlier about like it's kind of skipping out of the gromp camp it's a free camp it's right there it'll take you like eight seconds to do um and it's gonna be worth it to take it because that's 100 gold um quarter level third level of xp right there just sitting there for you to take it and if you take it then boom it's going to be up again you could have gotten that an extra like four or five times this game that's 18 or that's 16 20 cs um mm -hmm. so that's just like an important thing to know um but anyways this is a pretty good game for you and our session's nearing an end so i'm gonna stop the recording now so thank you all so much for watching and i'm gonna get into just the final little opg opg review with him so thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful day